Hi, my dear friends. Good morning. You are all welcome to my Durgam English coaching channel through which I teach English as well as deliver spiritual speeches. So I welcome all the spiritual seekers all over the world to my special video on Swami Vivekananda who created awareness among the spiritual people who are in search of God Almighty. Do you know Swami Vivekananda was born in Bengal in Kolkata. Many people, many great people are from Bengal. Bengal is a land of great spiritual masters, great philosophers, great writers like Ravindranath Tagore. Coming to the speciality of today, Today is 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda who lived on this material world just 39 years. Do you know he departed this world on 4th July 19 O two just thirty nine years he lived, but his spiritual life is equal to thirty nine centuries. He is such a great person who always tried to find the God. He travelled all over India in search of truth. He was born in a middle class ordinary family. When his father departed, he was a small boy. His family was in poverty, in debts. So, as a boy, he could not understand what to do to serve his mother. But at the same time, he completed his graduation and he did some odd jobs for the sake of his family. But there was a special divine reason for his birth on the karma bhumi that is mother india at that time all the indians are fighting against britishers for freedom our vivekananda who is also well known as Narendra, travelled all over India
to know the life of the common indian people he found so many miseries and poverty which is prevailed like a devil all over india finally he reached kanyakumari where there is a small rock island he swam and reached the island there he sat in silence closing his eyes then his third day was open and he understood he divine reason behind his birth in india then he met so many sages so many monks to know god finally he reached that chedeswar where he met ramah krishna paramahamsa ji where he asked the good old question same question have you seen the god ramakrishna paramahamsa said yes and then he put his leg on the lap of vivekananda suddenly a miracle happened vivekananda witnessed the heavenly power the divine power as soon as ramakrishna paramahamsa removed his leg he fell into the material world from the divine world then he decided to spread the sanatana hindu dharma at that time he came to know that in chicago america there is going to be held all religions conference world religions conference at once he decided to go there some kind hearted rajas helped him many people many spiritual people came forward and helped swami vivekananda to go to america to participate the world religious conference to be held in chicago as soon as he reached america he came to know that the world religious conference was postponed due to some domestic reasons he had only a little amount for his bread and butter where to live how to spend the nights he was in confusion and chaos at that time when he was in a park on the bench taking rest she he met a woman swami vivekananda met a woman in that park that is uh, catherine who is also a spiritual woman a spiritual speaker interacted a few minutes with uh, swami vivekananda in that park 
and she understood vivekananda's poor condition and invited him to stay in her home which is in boston city swami vivekananda didn't have any idea what to do or what not to do immediately accepted her request and stayed in catherine's home in boston city there he had a friend j h right very influential person he got some close intimacy with right swami requested right to help to make a favor to participate in world religious conference where the organizers didn't have any idea about hinduism they have no idea that such a such a religion was there in the world so at last the day came that is 11th september 1893 the conference started from morning to evening many people from different sectors of the world many monks many fathers many priests who are in full shoot delivered lectures about their religions the organizers didn't care swami vivekananda they didn't give any chance to him who was in simple sapron dress kashaya vastram lo unnadu andaru suit boot veskuni tie kattukoni coat esukoni vacharu ina edo sadharanamaina tuvanti gauru varnam దుస్తులు ధరించాడు అవి మాసిపోయి ఉన్నాయి వెన్ క్యాథరిన్ అండ్ రైట్ రికమెండెడ్ ది ఆర్గనైజర్స్ టు గివ్ హిమ్ ఎ ఛాన్స్ దే లుక్ అట్ హిమ్ దే లుక్ అట్ స్వామి వివేకానంద వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ డ్రెస్ అండ్ దట్టీ డ్రెస్ హి వాజ్ నాట్ టైడీ he didn't look gentle how can we give chance to him then swami vivekananda said in america a tailor a tailor decides the character of a person that means the dress was stitched by whom stitched by whom tailor so in america the dress decides character dress in the sense the tailor who made the dress decides the character of a person but in india people decide a person as a gentleman because of his attitude because of his behavior because of his words but not the dress the organizers stunned to the answer and gave him one condition one one condition you are the last speaker and only 2 minutes you can deliver your lecture that's all not more than that swami said okay okay i am blessed thank you for giving at least some chance 
when it is the turn of swami vivekananda who noticed the many gentlemen many fathers priests religious heads monks sages of different religions addressed the gathering ladies and gentlemen everybody but but swami vivekananda started his speech sisters and brothers not brothers and sisters sisters and brothers first respect goes to women then men that's why when he said my dear sisters and brothers There are nearly fourteen hundred people gathered. Sorry, nearly four thousand people gathered in that religious conference. Clapped, the applause, the standing ovation continued up to ten minutes. See, they have given only two minutes to speak, but the applause. standing ovation continued for 10 minutes then he started then he addressed the gathering about india about hinduism about sanatana dharma which gives equal vision to all the indians that is udara charita nam vasudhaika kutumbakam we people are belong to the world not to particular country not particular continent such is the feeling of sanatan dharma he explained in detail about the greatness of hinduism about the great principles of people of india about the simplicity about the festivals and his speech touched the hearts of the participant before that the speeches of many gentlemen touched the minds of the people attended in the conference but the words that are spoken by swami vivekananda touched the hearts that's why foreigners value the mind only indians give value to the heart medas to bharatiyu aalochincharu hrudayam to aalochistaru first hrudayaniki ultimate position next grade mind brain so in this way he gave a long speech among the applause finally he concluded the next day in all the newspapers in the print phase with the bold letters headlines he explained swami vivekananda about his simplicity about his speech about hinduism about sanatan dharma he is a divine person vivekananda is a special person of spirituality nobody can witness such a person great person 
with the such an intense attraction brightness adhe tejasvi maha tejasvi ayinatuvanti swami vivekananda ni gurichi pramukha patrikalalo ayana gurichi enta goppa gaano rasa ఇంక అక్కడి నుంచి ఆయన దేశాలన్నీ తిరుక్కుంటూ హి ట్రావెల్డ్ ఇన్ హిజ్ రిటర్న్ జర్నీ హీ మెట్ డిఫరెంట్ పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు డిఫరెంట్ కంట్రీస్ హీ గేవ్ మెనీ స్పీచెస్ ఇన్ ద ప్లేసెస్ ఫ్రమ్ చికాగో టు ఇండియా సో టుడే the people from all over the world follow the principles of swami vivekananda since then the foreigners who are rich and enjoy the material world had no peace had no peace of mind money richness never gave him peaceful life so since then many americans many of uh, foreigners are pouring into india in such a truth they are taking shelter from kasi to kanyakumari in vesi various sadguru ashrams they are trying and trying and trying to find the peace and god ee roju prapancham anta mana bharata desham vaipu chustu undi ante andu kaaranam swami vivekananda atani yokka adhyatmika gnanam atani yokka vaak patima అతనిలో ఉన్నటువంటి ఒక దివ్య శక్తి ప్రపంచ ప్రజలందరినీ మన హిందూ దేశం వైపు ఆకర్షిస్తూ ఉంది అప్పటి నుంచి చికాగోలో జరిగినటువంటి సర్వమత సమ్మేళనం నుంచి ప్రపంచ ప్రజలు ఇండియా అనేది ఒక దేశం ఉంది హిందూ దేశం అని పిలువబడే ఒక దేశం ఉంది అక్కడ సనాతన హిందూ ధర్మం అనేది ఉంది హిందుత్వం అంటే ఏమిటి అని దే స్టార్టెడ్ టు రీడ్ హిందూ స్క్రిప్చర్స్ మన మత గ్రంథాలను వాటి విశిష్టతలను తెలుసుకోవడం ప్రారంభించారు వేదాలను స్టడీ చేశారు వేదాంగాలైన ఉపనిషత్తులను స్టడీ చేశారు భగవద్గీతను స్టడీ చేశారు అష్టాదశ పురాణాలు తెలుసుకున్నారు ఇతిహాసాలైన భారత రామాయణ కథల గురించి తెలుసుకున్నారు బికాద స్వామి వివేకానంద టుడే ఈజ్ ఆన్ ది అల్టిమేట్ పొజిషన్ he is on the driving seat which drives all the country all the people of the world towards the god almighty in such a truth thank you thank you one and all